Hello, Ophiuchus. Welcome back to Mystic Unicorn Tarot. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you're new here, hello! It is so wonderful to meet you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Unicorn Herd. And if you are returning, what's up, squad? So thank you guys for being so patient with me. I know I've been away from the channel for a while. There's been a lot going on. Um, but we're back, and as you can tell already, if you've been following along this week, you know that we are getting into all of the signs this week, and it is Valentine's week, so happy Valentine's Day to you. I hope you had a, a good Valentine's Day. I hope you're having a good Valentine's week. That is, of course, if you celebrate, yes? All right, guys, we're going to get into this, uh, and so we're going to start the reading with uh, overall general energy, general message, general theme for what's going on in your love life right now. We're going to start with the energy oracle deck, and then I'm going to move to the before and after tarot here to look at person A and person B in terms of the situation at hand that you are currently dealing with. I, it, is, it is not my intention to define who person A and person B are. You place yourself into the situation as it truly fits and resonates for you, okay? With that said, please keep in mind, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Fine, uh, not finally, but then after we look at person A and person B, we're then going to get some deeper clarification here using the uh, Wild Unknown Tarot. And then finally, I'm going to close out the reading with Oracle Guidance from the Lover's Oracle. Yes? Excellent. So let's dive right in and get into this for my Ophiuchans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Choo, choo, choo. All right. <laughs> let's go, guys. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it done. I'm going to give this five shuffles here, starting with the Energy Oracle deck. Yeah, five shuffles for my Ophiuchans. This is one. What's going on in the love lives of Ophiuchus right now? This is two for my Ophiuchans. Oops, Ophiuchans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is three for Ophiuchus, four, and five. All right, Ophiuchus, let's see what we've got for you. What's going on in, in Ophiuchus' life right now? What do we, messages do we have for Ophiuchus here? The spirit. Angel of love. Okay, so the first thing that I get from this, Ophiuchus, is you are recently reconnecting with love, with the power of love, walking away in reverse. You've been walking away for a good amount of time, all right? Uh, okay, this is definitely, okay. And then overall energy at the bottom of the deck right now is the world. Um, in this deck, in the energy oracle deck, this can represent travel. Um uh, I, I, but I'm taking it as like the world in Tarot. What I'm hearing here is a completion of a process. So what I started feeling when the angel of love came out at first, I started to feel like you were accepting love or you're in a process right now, Ophiuchus, of accepting love back into your life. You may have been in an extended period of walking away from anything having to do with love or romance. For many of you, however, you may have been thinking or saying or feeling like, oh, I'm just walking away from toxic things and the things that no longer serve me. But actually what I'm really getting here for the most part is that you were actually just running from love, not giving yourself a chance to experience what could have been or what could have happened or anything. And that's mainly because of past trauma, right? But what I'm getting now, especially with the world at the bottom of the deck here, and I'm hearing a completion of the process. What I'm seeing is the image of this individual, they're standing out on a dock with the world and maybe the ocean, but then also the globe back here, right? What I actually feel like this represents for you, Ophiuchus, is you standing on the dock, willing to observe that which is in front of you now. And that willingness to observe, that willingness to stop running away is what's catalyzing the completion of this process of this cycle it's catalyzing the healing that is necessary for you to be able to really not only just accept like generally accept the concept of love back into your life but like subsequently then actually accepting or having a loving partner to share with okay all right anything else what else do we have for Ophiuchus in their energies at this time appreciation. I want to get one more card. One more card for Ophiuchus, please. There we go. And goddess of the moon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then caring connections is at the bottom of the deck. All right. 
Um, some of you actually do have a person that is coming forward for you right now, okay? But what I'm really feeling here, Ophiuchus, with this appreciation energy, um, I feel like you're really appreciating yourself, okay? And with Goddess of the Moon here, I get this very strong feeling that you're, you're literally willing to face the moon, okay? The, uh, there is, um, this might be a little bit of a long-winded tangent, but bear with me. Um, there's someone that I follow regularly have been following for quite a few years now. Her name is Gigi Young. She's on YouTube. If you don't know her, if you know me from like my other channel and everything, then you've heard me talk about her. If you don't know her, check her out. Gigi, J -I, I'm sorry, G-I-G-I -I Young, R-Y-O-U-N-G. Goodness, I can't spell today. But anyway, she talks about a lot of esoteric things. And one of the things, one of the topics she's talked about pretty f frequently is the, the nature and the reality of the moon. And the moon kind of, uh, like our literal moon, the moon that orbits our planet. The moon from a spirituality, from a spiritual point of view, is kind of like a database of all, it, like it literally holds the records of um, darkness, uh, negativity, karma, destruction, traumatic situations. Um, the moon, you could see our physical moon as like uh, a celestial representation of the shadow, of our shadow selves. And in terms of the grand scheme of things, the moon holds the records of the shadows of humanity. Okay, that's a really brief explanation, probably not the best explanation, but I am explaining all of that because what I feel here, Ophiuchus, is that you are getting to a period of loving and appreciating yourself enough to stop walking and or running away from the what the moon holds for you. And again, the moon in this case is holding the records of the shadow side of things, the shadow side of love potentially for you. Okay, the negative karmic experiences that you've gone through when it comes to love. Sorry, I had to get my coffee. Okay, anyway, so then overall energy here for you, Ophiuchus, is caring connections. And quite frankly, Ophiuchus, I feel like for some of you here, this may, been, this may have been catalyzed, not necessarily by yourself, like this whole transformative process. I feel like it's been catalyzed by someone that has recently come into your life and or caught your attention. And, and I want to say this very specifically because this is coming through very strongly. And maybe this is where you are holding yourself. I feel like some of you are kind of saying to yourself, all right, well, yeah, that, that guy's cute. That guy's hot. Or that girl is cute. She's like, she's dope, but, but not whatever. Like, okay, in theory, like maybe if I were a little more open to it or maybe if I weren't so damaged, blah, 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 then all right, maybe that I could have a connection with that person. And then that right there opens the doorway enough for you to start saying, maybe I should peek out of my closet here. Maybe I should come out of my cave here. Even if nothing happens with that person, like I'm not going to get all expect expectant or anything, but huh, maybe I actually do want a relationship, says Ophiuchus. So either whomever, whatever caring connection has come through for you that is allowing you to kind of open up the doors and come out of the cave a little bit here, um, regardless as to whether you actually end up with that person ultimately or not, this is a good thing because you're, you're literally coming out of the shadows. You're coming out of your shell at this point. You're no longer running away from that which has hurt you in the past. Instead, you're standing your ground and you're facing it and you're dealing with it so you don't have to do that shit anymore and you can actually have a loving, caring relationship and actual caring connection, okay? This is really awesome, Ophiu, because I am liking this a lot. Okay, so what, let's get into a little bit more of this. I'm going to look at person A for you here, Ophiuchus. Um, we're going to start with the before tarot. And keep in mind, like I said, I, it is not my intention to define who person A or person B here is here in this situation. You let you, you figure that one out. Place yourself in it as it fits. Yes, as, as it fits for you. Here we go. Five shuffles for person A for my Ophiuchus. So who is person A in this situation, my spirit? in this caring connection. That's two. This is three. This is four. And five. For person A, for my Ophi Yukins. All right, let's get into this. So 
What's the energies? What's the deal with person A in this situation? Ship this caring connection. My my. Yes, indeed. First card out is the five of cups in reverse. And let me tell you something that came flying out of the deck. So to me, that with how vigorously that came flying out of the deck and fell on the floor, I really feel like someone is really absolutely either is done with crying over things, crying over spilled milk, being sad, um, um, you know, woe is me and all that. You're either getting ready to be done with it or you are absolutely done with it. Okay. All right. Person A, continue, please. Spirit. Four of Wands in reverse. Okay. All right. So somebody here is also rec recognizing the lack of stability. Yeah. Six of Wands. I'm going to get two more cards. Just two more cards for person A, please, Spirit. There we go. Ten of Wands. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. And then you have the Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. I do kind of feel like, you guys, I feel like this is representative of person A in mostly in the past you know what though let me get one more card for person a yes i was guided to get one more card for person a and i pulled it right from the top of the deck and it was justice okay it's justice so a lot of what you have here five of cups four of wands six of wands ten of wands well i'm sorry five of cups four of wands six of wands ace of pentacles all in reverse with the ten of wands and justice upright okay but all of this that you have back here ophiuchus or person a is what you were dealing with in the past you were stuck in a regretful energy you were stuck in a very woe is me type of energy five of cups in reverse you were stuck in a level or an energy of a um, uh, 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 lack of foundation, lack of solidity, uh, lack of, uh, mm, I'm hearing lack of creative expression. Um, I feel like many of you in terms of love or for person A here in terms of love, um, they really lost their creative spark. They didn't feel like you, you didn't or this person didn't feel like you were really worth it or you were really worth or the time was really worth anything. It's like you completely, you were depleted. But what I'm hearing here is that you allowed yourself to be depleted because that four of wands energy in reverse also does feel like the point or the, the point that you no the energetic state that you were in when you got into certain relationships that really, really hurt you. OK. You were too burdened. Ten of wands to hand an offer or to make an offer or receive an offer from anyone ace of pentacles in reverse but with all of that said you do have justice here now okay and i feel like your the justice is saying that you're putting all of this to rest two of swords but then yes yeah, see uh, overall energy at the bottom of the deck you're going from the two of swords to the page of cups here okay yeah P two of swords page of cups seven of swords but then the hanged man and then death oh, death ophiuchus okay um Okay, I'm looking at this Two of Swords, Page of Cups, Seven of Swords, and, I, I'm, and I'm hearing false emotional, false emotions, false relationships, false understandings, immature situations, coming, really coming from that Page of Cups here, okay? Very immature situations. Whether the people that you were getting involved with were consciously immature and were literally just looking to use somebody for their own emotional gain, however, that is more of a Knight of Cups energy, but either it's that or... People were just naive and unaware. Somebody here may have had a little bit of a complex or a little bit of um, a thing where they would go for people that were emotionally much, much more emotionally immature or were at least just very emotionally immature. Because it was easier, because it was fun, maybe because you could manipulate them. That's fairly narcissistic. But either way, what this is saying here, Ophiuchus, Two of Swords, Page of Cups, Seven of Swords, what this is really saying is for, a long, for the longest time, person A, you or this person was so blinded, refused to recognize that they were trying to get, that you or this person was trying to get involved with individuals that were not, uh, false pretenses, is, uh, that's what I want to say. You were getting into situations under false pretenses. And you refuse to look at that or these pre this person refused to look at that. But somehow, some way, something changed and you got a change in perspective here. You have the hanged man to death. And I kind of feel like person A, you reached this hanged man death energy because of the time you spent alone. And I feel like at this point, at least you've gotten to a point now where you can just be content with yourself. You do have the nine of cups here. Um, 
but it's from this place of contentment i feel like that you're able to open up you've gotten to a place where you really can appreciate yourself or you can begin to appreciate yourself or you can make a, a a pact with yourself to say i am going to appreciate myself more and that is absolutely opening you up to love it's opening you up to the healing that's necessary for you to get over this burden here ten of wands and to get justice in your life in terms of your love life okay excellent don't mind Paul out there in the background. Fucking roosters. Anyway, <laughs> let's get into person B here. Yeah, five shuffles for person B. What's going on with person B? For my Ophiuchus, this is two. I swear you guys, I think some of these specific roosters that I've been living around for the last year and a half are specifically intimidated by me 555 five, five on the counter because whenever i start recording doing anything like like it was silent before i started doing this reading and now here comes paul posted up on the fence only a few feet from my window crying out loud calling out there being all masculine dominant and all that shit because here i am doing my work like i swear there are certain ones there are certain roosters around here that are specifically intimidated by me, but whatever. <laughs> Where was I? Is this two or three? Per, a person B. Let's call this two. You see, and now that I called his ass out, where did he go? He left. Mm -hmm. This is three for person B. Come on now. For person B. What's going on with person B in these caring connections for my Ophiuchans? This is four. Oh, that's Joey. Do you hear Joey now? Oh, yeah, I've named them all. <laughs> this is five. All right, what's going on for person B for my Ophiuchus here? What's going on for person B? And yes, I can tell which one, which rooster it is by the sound of their, their crow. Yeah. Anyway, person B. What's going on with person B? King of Wands in reverse. A first thing I'm hearing is I don't want to be a player anymore. Not a player anymore. Not a player anymore. We have the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. This literally feels like somebody that is giving up some sort of player mentality or extreme selfishness or maybe even extreme desire to do things. But I feel like that extreme desire to do something is coming from an egoic base and not true compassionate bases. But with this King of Wands reversed and the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck here, so far, I feel like somebody is giving up the ego in order to get more emotions, maybe get emotional balance. Um, okay. Uh, for others, person B feels like they may want to take action towards something, and yet they can't. I get this... Small feeling. I get this small feeling that whomever person B is, they're sprung or they want to go after something, but they're holding back. And with this Queen of Cups energy, I feel like they're being intuitive and are trying to feel things out emotionally before they even begin to try deciding whether they want to pursue something or something like that, which would then have the King of Wands turn upright, okay? Let's see what else. Person B, please, for Ophiuchus, please, Spirit. Ooh, Nine of Swords. Okay, so this person is kind of afraid of something. What is this person afraid of? What's going on with Person B? Eight of Swords in reverse. Four of Cups. All right, hold on. King of Wands. Nine of Swords. King of Wands is reverse. Nine of Swords is upright. Then we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. Then we have the Four of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Star. This person is not sure of something. Not sure if they can pursue this person or not. Quite frankly, Ophiuchus, this may be both you. I really do feel that because I'm going to be honest with you, Ophiuchus. I don't really feel somebody else's energy in here. I feel like this is your energy. These are the two sides of yourself, or at least these are two sides of what you're actually going through right now, okay? But again, take it as it resonates. This could be person A, person B, or this could all just be you, Ophiuchus, okay? Um, although I will be very honest with you, the dominant feeling that I have right now is, even if you're in a relationship, the dominant feeling that I have right now is this is all about you right now, Ophiuchus, all right? Overall energy is the hanged man and then the nine of pentacles. So here's the deal. 
from this side of the equation, I'm gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and can uh, uh, still call it person B. But on person B's side here, this I feel like is no. You know what? Screw it. This is all Ophiuchus. So Ophiuchus, on this side of the situation for you, this is you having reached this hanged man state, and you're very fresh here. Okay, this is a brand new state for you to be in. All right, you may have reached this enlightenment. You may have reached this po this this moment where you're seeing things very very differently. But that doesn't mean that you're necessarily ready to start taking action yet. King of Wands in reverse, okay? You do have the Nine of Swords, but then you have the Eight of Swords in reverse. I like the fact that the Eight of Swords is in reverse here, but at the same time, I don't. What I, Honestly, though, Ophiuchus, the first thing that I felt here with this Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords in reverse is that you are freshly freed from this mental prison, okay? You may have, you may be you know, physically removed or having been physically cut from these chains or from this entrapment or ensnarement or anything. But that doesn't mean that there aren't still some fears that you're dealing with. Like you literally just busted out of jail somehow, we'll say, right? You just busted out. And so like some of the mindset, some of the trauma that you were in while you were in this wrapped up state here, this eight of swords energy um, is still kind of there, is still kind of fresh in your mind, all right? Next, you have the Four of Cups to the Ten of Pentacles, and then the Star. I feel very specifically, Ophiuchus, that you're, I just heard you're leaving something behind. There's some sort of dream, some sort of goal, some sort of obstacle that you were trying to overcome, and at this point, I feel like you're just giving it up altogether. Now, it could very well be this Four of Cups is representing the energy of you no, lo no longer wanting to sit in this, uh, in this state of not wanting to participate. I feel like the Four of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles here is you having completed that process and of you being like, you know what, I'm just going to keep to myself. I'm not like, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm going to run away from love and all that kind of stuff. You're done with that. The lesson has been learned there. Okay, the cycle is complete there. And now you have wish fulfillment on the way. The star, I feel like you're really kind of moving forward towards, or at least you're getting started to get some momentum going behind you moving towards what it is that you want. Okay, the, your ultimate wish fulfillment in love or romance or whatever, but also the healing process that is involved with getting there because the star not only represents wish fulfillment, like ultimate wish fulfillment, it also represents healing. This right here, Ophiuchus, says to me that you recently broken out of jail. You still have some fears going on here. You're not quite sure if you really want to start taking action yet, but you do know that you don't want to be in this state anymore. So now you're starting to focus on what it is you truly dream of and doing the healing work to get yourself there. Okay. Excellent, Ophiuchus. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right. Let's get some more clarity. Five shuffles here. One. Two. Just some extra clarity, please, spirit. This is three. Four. And five. All righty. So instead of, because I just feel like this is all Ophiuchus's energy right now, of course, it doesn't have to be it, be that way. Take it as it resonates. This is a general reading, but I kind of want to say it this way. Instead of saying person A and person B, even though, again, we could still say that even if it's all Ophiuchus, because person A would be the person you were in the past. Person B is the person you are now. But I kind of want to say side A and side B. But again, take it as it resonates. Okay, guys. All right. So let's get some extra clarification on person A or side A. Yeah, some extra clarity for side A for Ophiuchus, please, spirit. Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands, Two of Cups, Knight of Wands, Four of Cups, and that's it. And then this is the Queen of Cups. There's that Queen of Cups energy again. And the Magician. This is literally telling me that you want to manifest love. 
or at least you're trying to manifest love, or at least person A is trying to manifest love. So here's that Four of Cups energy, right? Where this person or where you were reluctant to do something about it, now that's changed. Now you're activated. Now you're wanting to go out there, go out in the world and meet people, okay? The doorway is open. The, the, the blockages have been released. There is open, clear space for you to move forward. Eight of Wands. You are feeling inspired to pursue a relationship. And for some of you, maybe this actually is someone that has sparked your fancy or someone that you are have already been with. And then there's the Queen of Cups. What I'm really feeling for at either person A or side A here is that the Queen of Cups and the Two of Cups and the Ace of Wands is representing this individual finding emotional balance, finding emotional awareness, finding boundaries or emotional boundaries, and really being willing to pursue a relationship again, really being willing to manifest love in one's life with that magician at the bottom of the deck here, yeah? And then the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, a lot of this, yeah, the Queen of Pentacles actually definitely resonates here because the Queen of Pentacles would represent the energy of appreciation here, all right? So many of you have gotten into a mode, a mode or a phase where... Um, you appreciate yourself, you have under, you have come to understand your self-worth, what it is you want and need out of a relationship, what it is you're willing to provide or what you can provide to a relationship, but it really feels like you you have a greater understanding of your own worth. Okay, Ophiuchus. There goes Paul again. All right, <laughs> let's look at person B or side B. Yes, actually, let me get three more shuffles. Let me shuffle three more times here, yeah? For side B, please, spirit for my Ophiuchus. What's going on for person or side B here? Oops, try that again. Two. And three. All righty. Person B, side B. What's going on? Some clarity here, please, spirit. Page of Swords. Yeah. Okay, so um, I will say, oh my god, oh my god, my god. Okay, sorry, chill, Eric. <laughs> okay, I do want to say, now, the, 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 again, you guys, this is a general reading, all right? Take it as it resonates. But I was feeling like, I don't know, I think this is all Ophiuchus's energy because I don't really feel anybody extra or anyone else in your energy. So... If you are connecting with someone, maybe you're both Ophiuchans, okay? But then the other thing is, maybe you guys are just strongly mirroring each other. Strongly mirroring each other, all right? Because you have the Page of Swords here, which means that somebody is watching. And remember, we have this King of Wands in reverse here, right? Not necessarily willing to take action yet, but watching, so either you, Ophiuchus, are watching, uh, wanting to take action, or maybe you have somebody that's watching you that's wanting to take action. And then the other card that came out here is the King of Cups. We've got mirroring. We've got counterparts here. Now, if this is all still resonating for just you, if there's nobody in your energy here, this is you being emotionally ready to make a move or to go after what it is you truly want. And this is you in the space of doing that. This sign is the work that you've done to get ready to do it. And this is you ready, looking, seeking, understanding, having stepped into your power. We could be talking, speaking to an individual that aligns with divine masculine energy, regardless as to whether you t align with the twin flame journey or not, right? The emperor is at the bottom of the deck. Joey. <laughs> uh, I, um... I really feel like Ophiuchus or this person or whatever has really taken control, taken their power back on their lives, okay? Anything else for person B or side B? Anything? The Hierophant, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Moon. Interesting. Anything else for person B here? Or side B? Here? No, we're going to leave it right there. Okay. And then, oh. And then we have the devil at the bottom of the deck with the seven of wands, the king of pentacles, queen of wands. And it, hmm. All right. Uh, what I'm getting here, Hierophant, nine of pentacles, and the moon. I just, I, I really feel like, Ophiuchus, you've learned your lessons well. 
That's what I heard the first time I heard the Hierophant. Because yes, the Hierophant can represent institutions. It can it represent uh, government and university and uh, you know law and order, or at least the justice system. Although the justice card officially would represent that. But then like the Hierophant can represent institutions like marriage as well and religion. But it also represents like society and dogma, societal standards and, and one size fits all and boop, boop, boop and conformity and all that kind of stuff, right? But from my point of view as a reader, sometimes the Hierophant can represent some really tough three-dimensional lessons that we have to go through. The Hierophant can also represent an initiation process. And that initiation process for the Hierophant is more along the lines of the 3D, whereas his counterpart, the High Priestess, would represent a spiritual initiatory process, okay? But from the Hierophant point of view, these are massive, three-dimensional, physical lessons that are often very, very hard, okay? But what I'm seeing here, what I'm hearing from this Hierophant energy for you, Ophiuchus, or person B, is you've learned these lessons very, very well, and you've come out of it on top. Not the Hierophant with the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles being an energy of self-sufficiency, sovereignty, independence, feeling single, um, being an entrepreneur, whatever that stuff, uh, uh, receiving rewards for work done well and all that kind of stuff. And then you have the moon. And remember, I was talking about how the moon can actually represent our the, the karmic or the shadow side, like the moon energetically holds is a database of shadow aspects. And Ophiuchus, I really feel like you beat the devil here. The devil is the overall energy, okay, to the seven of cups, but then to the king of pentacles and the queen of wands, all right? So this definitely could just be all your energy, Ophiuchus, because you have a representation of the feminine and the masculine here. You also have a representation of the feminine and the masculine here. This time, it's the king of pentacles and the queen of wands. And what this is saying here is that in terms of the devilish energy, in terms of the toxic cycles, in terms of all that bullshit, right, and all the illusion that was included with that, all the ways that the devil has been trying to lie to you, the seven of cups, it doesn't matter because you've grown. You're solid in yourself. You understand who you are at least fully or at least better than you used to before okay you become very much more solid within yourself king of pentacles and that allows you to be in direct energetic alignment with what it is you want queen of wands okay puts you in direct alignment to manifest what it is you want underneath, underneath all of that is the magician beautiful okay um I'm just going to leave it, I, I'm going to close it out now because the spirit is saying let's close it out. So let's get you some closing oracle guidance in terms of this message. So what closing oracle guidance do we have for Ophiuchus at this time, please, spirit? Ooh, that's enough right there. Okay. Lint. <laughs> All right, guys. So here's our first card to close out your reading here. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. I feel like that's absolutely where, where you were in the past. You were resisting. I feel like there may have been uh, plenty of circumstances or situations in which the universe or the divine were bringing you opportunities to heal, to grow, to expand, to let go of the past, to get over the certain situations, but you hid from it. You ran from it. You didn't recognize it, what it for what it was at the time. Don't beat yourself up about it because spirit is saying that we understood you were going to do that. Like we knew that was going to happen. We expected it. So don't think that you made anything more difficult for yourself. I mean, it may have been difficult, but it actually was a necessary part of the process. But you're not doing that anymore. You're facing things now. You're no longer running away, all right? Here's our second card for you. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Okay. And then finally, romance. Cupid, Cupid's arrow strikes. But Ophiuchus, it, even if you don't have a person that you're kind of checking for or who's kind of checking for you right now, it doesn't matter because all of the work that you've been doing here, Ophiuchus, is opening you up, is opening you up as a clear and viable target for Cupid to, to, to strike, for Cupid's arrow to strike. Eight of wands, okay? 
Excellent. I am going to leave it there. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Just go ahead and uh, check for my email in the description box below. Shoot me an email. Let me know you're interested in getting a reading and I would be more than happy to set you up for one. If you haven't done so already, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I love hearing from you guys, yeah? With that said, I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Beautimus. Bye.